NISA Berkeley is an equipment site of the Network for Earthquake Engineering Simulation. And similar to the other sites, it started in 2000. Until 2004, this was the construction period. Uh, and then from 2004 until now, it's in the operation. So the research in the labs typically strive for these innovations in design uh, against earthquakes or retrofitting for existing infrastructure or completely eliminating the effect of earthquakes such as using isolation or advanced uh, material. In Nice and Berkeley we have what I call three frameworks. The first one is for physical testing where people build specimens, attach it to our strong floor and have actuators that are reacting against our reaction zone. The second framework is an interface framework between the physical experimentation and computational simulations. The third framework is the pure simulation framework, which is open seas. So the combination of these three frameworks, the physical framework, the interface framework, and the simulation framework is what makes NISA Berkeley really unique. This is NISA Berkeley, one of the uh, experimental sites of NIS network. Main features of the lab is strong floor and uh, reconfigurable reaction wall. Reconfigurable reaction wall uh, is one of the, I mean, it's very interesting concept uh, because in this case uh, you are not uh, stuck to certain configuration, to certain, certain geometry of your wall. Uh, in this case, uh, if your setup requires a certain configuration of, of the reaction wall, you can disassemble the wall. Uh, right now we have uh, three towers connected to each other. You can uh, disconnect those blocks and put those blocks anywhere on the floor, press them and uh, create a new wall anywhere on the floor. In addition to that, uh, we have uh, the biggest uh, press in the United States, uh, which is behind of me. So we can provide uh, 4 million pounds in compression, 3 million pounds in tension. Then uh, we have uh, high performance actuators. Uh, we have uh, four high performance actuators and three static actuators. Uh, then, in addition to that, uh, we have a data acquisition system which can provide uh, 196 uh, channels. We have uh, two controllers. Uh, one of them is capable to control eight actuators, the other one is uh, capable to control uh, four actuators. The lab uh, promotes uh, and develops a hybrid simulation technique, uh, which is uh, focusing on uh, testing large, uh, large scale structures uh, by combining a fine element analysis uh, technique and testing. So in this case, if you have a multi story building, you can model um, part of the structure in the computer, and the rest of the structure can be tested on the floor. And this communication between the model and the test article on the floor can be done in real time. Can simulate a response of that building during regular week. We conduct a wide variety of outreach activities here at the Needs at Berkeley Laboratory at UC Berkeley. One of the popular ones that we conduct for researchers is a hybrid simulation workshop. We host that about once a year, and we have researchers come out. Uh, from universities across the United States, as well as a few participants from abroad, and they come to learn about the hybrid simulation capabilities here at the laboratory. Uh, as a result of this workshop, many of them go on to write these are research proposals and, um, and eventually, hopefully, get funded to come back here and do their research projects here at the NISA Berkeley Lab. Our other kind of highly dynamic and exciting program that we have in our outreach uh, arsenal here at UC Berkeley is our K-12 outreach program. Through this program, we leave the students with a set of connects, building materials, from which they are able to break up into teams and design and construct their very own earthquake-resistant structures. With those connect buildings, uh, they are able to bring them out to our laboratory uh, on a follow-up visit as a field trip here to the lab and test them on our earthquake simulator. During their, uh, their field trip here, we also get to, start to have them participate in a laboratory tour where we show them some of the equipment we use, and for many of them it's their first time actually being in a research environment. In the 2010-2011 school year, we worked with 47 different classrooms, mostly in the Oakland Unified School District, um, and really gives these children the opportunity to come out to our laboratories and see what it's like to do research and what real science is all about.